Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> right, so next we have Mama Moo singing uh, Backwoods Life. And the, you know when they did that the whole thing, thing? The yeah. Immortal Songs? I think we've tried several times to post um, footage from yeah. from this. SBS, uh, uh, big no. KBS. KBS, KBS sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, but yes, it's... um. To, uh, fingers crossed you can see this yeah, yeah. Uh, or hear it if not you you hear the kind of like the auditory experience of it yeah but very requested so let's have a look review the audio mm -hmm. well this is the type of environment where you want to really soak yourself up in their vocal the pedigree sound. some of the highest mm -hmm. arguably the best yes <laughs> Life, life. That's life, life. Because here, here's the thing. I've I've received a lot of video footage of oh, all of these shows have post production on. Of course they do. That's Sometimes that's the reality. Sometimes it's thing going on. Yeah. That's the reality. Yes, that is it. it doesn't mean the singer is actually shit. No, it just it's, means he's can't probably do a backflip. <laughs> you know. Listen, and TV has their own agendas to protect. No, TVs have their own thing. That's, that's right. That's really weird about TV. They're, they're guidelines. They have their own thing. I, I really understood this by looking at different TV productions from different parts of the world and then speaking from people from different parts and of the world. And also working in TV from the inside. You know that there are just rules. Yeah. There are things that just apply. They won't, even if you want to, they might not even let you sing. You, yeah. you know, you sing, on, you, you lip sync on top of this. That's right. And, and that's not even new because so even old. back in the 80s, they used to do it. And it yeah. used to be such a scandal. I remember... I remember, like, you know, watching uh, uh, iconic performances by uh, the Beatles or Queen, or, and they'll be, like, super... Uh, David Bowie, they'll be super bored at this... And, like, not even trying to lip-sync to the tracks that they were playing. Big, and they bec and those becoming, like, super iconic moments. It's like, oh, my God, but it was they're actually not them trying to battle that shit. That's right. So I think it's just part of the entertainment yeah, industry TV. overall. It's TV. It's nothing to do with... The singer being bad, good, or great, or outstanding. It's just TV rules. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but when you listen to um, uh, TV productions and you want to uh, at least try to put into perspective what it could be real and what could have some post-production in it, the really clear tells here are the vocal quivers that if it had post-production, apart from the compressing and the highlighting of the of the natural sound itself, sound gate as well, so yes, to, to make sure everything quieter in the outside. Um, apart from those tiny details, if there was pitch correction, that that quivering would have been a, a an even tone. You wouldn't have heard the the whispery quivering notes behind it. So just so you can put it into perspective. <laughs> Which is not a vibrato, it's a quiver. Also, if it had some note correction, there would have also been even it out. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's why I'm saying, like, in this particular video, you have really raw vocals, which also, is beautiful. Again, it might be something to do with Rainbow's involvement because we also saw it in, in Andromeda. Uh, that's right. Having one uh, one Wii. And also Mama Moo's take on its life in Andromeda. And Dingo, right? Dingo killing voice. That was one of the things that went so viral out of Dingo. It's just mm -hmm. because it's like, it's this very, is what real singing sounds like. And uh, it's very realistic. it might actually be better than studio. Mm -hmm. Arguably to me, uh, to my ears, it, I, I would want to see them here rather than buy an album. I'd pay for the ticket, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'd still buy the album because their songs are fucking good. <laughs> and they're really nice till I work out to or just listen to them. Mm -hmm. like. But I, where the big money is, I think, for them is they're such a live show. Like They are. I, they are that shit probably made me cry if I was there live. Like, I'd be like, wow, someone's that good at this and they've dedicated their lives to that. That's, that's what right, inspiring, that's right. You know? I agree. Yeah. 
you got it, cause you're only doing it. Girl, jump in, damn me up. Girl, take it, damn me up. Girl, take it, damn me up. Yeah, that's life, life, dude. Yeah, that's... That's pretty freaking realistic. Yes, yes, yes. Legs for days, by the way. She's a good looking woman, son. Oh, wassa. It's so rough what she's what movie was doing. I love the visual connection. We'll go back, we'll go back. I, very good to highlight that I feel with Mumbio because because she is doing speech quality or rapping in most people's eyes or most mm -hmm. people's ears. It's not a speech quality, this is spoken voice. So most people wouldn't give that as much like credit. Um, but genuinely, it might be one of the most difficult things that's just happened there. Mm -hmm. um, specifically because... Obviously, it's lots of stability at play, right? Like, she has to be one of the most stable in... in and that's why she's actually, to a certain extent, the one that's moved the least. Mm -hmm. She's just stuck to the ground. We, we mentioned this as well in the previous Big Mama uh, video we did, I think, yesterday when you guys were watching this. Um, so she has to be really stable. Mm -hmm. Her breath control has to be insane. But... To sound monotone like that, like that tone stability, that's basically impossible. It is, and actually, the fact that this this has very little makeup sound wise on it makes it even more impressive from her side of the delivery because it's, it's not about the rhythmicality, but it's about the the spoken word aspect of it is 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 very close to reciting poetry, poetry yes so uh, that itself it's is an art form that really requires a lot not only stability but a, an understanding that the rhythm is not at play here no so she could literally be speaking but it's rhyming so you have to find this really weird in between um and maintain the thin veil of vulnerability that everybody else up to this point has uh, uh, created. I did quite a bit of poetry when I was younger. And one of, one of the things, and especially reciting poetry in public and in shows and what would you call it, contests and stuff. And one, one of the things that I think I remember from rehearsing and getting advice from that is that you, you want to try and express the written piece as if it was a monologue but a monologue within yourself and you were you were you were rehearsing on how you would say this to the love of your life mm -hmm. um and it was like a declaration of love whatever it, it would be i remember one of the uh, most like the more notorious piece i ever did when i was a kid was like this a uh, uh, poet poem about my country it was like a patriotic um mm -hmm. uh, poetry piece of poetry 
And it's still, it was still, I was basically the thing that they would tell me. It's like, imagine you're telling a girl you, you like her mm-hmm. um, and, and you're declaring it in this manner. So you wouldn't, it's just that the music in the background is, is it, it's like coming from a different room. It's not part of this room. That's right. So it's really weird because you really need to detach yourself from that manner. Um, she's obviously doing a really fantastic job. I also feel that there is a genuine, that's, that's definitely a good way to introduce you into rapping, mm-hmm. um, poetry, reciting poetry, reciting anything really, monologues, uh, even even spoken s- word overall. Yes, yeah, spoken word is a really good start. I feel. Well, um, rapping. I I remember I remember I not a traditional mine, way, but yeah. friends of mine actually actor friends used to used to um, rap Shakespeare. Yeah. For because you have <laughs> the, it has a a certain way to be spoken, recited. So it, and it's quite rhythmical. Um, so guess. yeah, no, no, no. The, it, especially the way that we were being taught it. Right. Um, it, it used to be quite rhythmical. It used to have a an, an, a natural flow, just to help you understand inflection in 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 the phrasing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, some of my friends ended up making a whole rap of, out of like Shakespeare. you know Shakespeare and. Well, these are immortalized songs, right? Mm-hmm. That's basically what this show is about. So I I do wonder what the original. Yeah, the originals not only are but what they mean mm-hmm. to the country. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> so wrong but it went so well <laughs> oh gosh yes nice. what a craziness man <clears throat> that's what i mean the vocal pedigree and the understanding within within each other it is so pinnacle and i think that's what i find so refreshing about mama moo and especially in live settings like mama, this mama, when they really relied on each other and they're not shy about eye contact no, and no. communication and yeah, yeah. genuine musicians Indeed. genuine singers they they've and they've really grown to know each other so vocally speaking so professionally they know where and how and they understand each other really well so that that alone is like you know fantastic again i i don't know i mean i hope you guys get to see this uh kbs is so, so it's obviously quite tricky uh for us <laughs> um that one we can't speak about um <laughs> but Perhaps if you if you are seeing this podcast, which I fucking hope you do, um, then maybe let us know if you like to check out more of this stuff. There is a couple of immortal ones that we haven't seen in our own time, apart mm-hmm. from that, because we just accepted reality and we didn't. Uh, we've probably <laughs> seen all of them. But there's like two more I think we haven't seen. Uh, I can't remember what the other one is. Um, yeah. I'm sure you guys will let us know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to move on.